Welcome to day 11 of the 300 movie challenge, where today we watch the highest grossing film of April 1995, which was While You Were Sleeping. Um, okay, first of all, uh, this was the first romantic comedy, oh boy, um, <laughs> and, uh, okay, see, my main f thing about this film is that I feel like this could have actually worked if they weren't so focused on the whole, like, misunderstanding aspect of it. That is true. That I, was yeah. a I think giant... That's just it was because again it was so like kind of a problem with outbreak about like so convenient right mm. it was so many things just oh this happened to work this way and it just kept building and building like to for no real reason and it was just okay because like the main premise of this is basically like this woman which, uh <laughs> i can't even remember her name what was her name lucy. Sandra lucy. Bullock. yeah yeah well the actress yeah but the character is lucy Think she's in love with this guy Peter, and she ends up like with she, they, he, they like don't really talk to each other, um, and she like saves him from getting run over by a train, which by the way was really stupid because she didn't even like try to like pull him out of the train and track. Yeah, so, like, that, that was me? pretty stupid. Um, yeah. So that was stupid. But anyway, but so then he falls into a coma, and then basically like she ends <coughs> up like quote unquote accidentally convincing everyone that like she's his fiance, and. All this stuff happens and it gets more complicated, but she ends up actually falling for the guy's brother. And uh, I I think is like when it was focused on her and the brother, I think it like worked because you actually under you, they had chemistry together. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. But the thing and so like that one, you know, kind of like in the middle, like it was kind of working, but in the beginning and like through most of the end, it, this like they just kind of didn't go into that. It was just more oh, weird misunderstandings and all this stuff. And it just, just, ugh, and like, just worked as like, you know, a, a movie about those two. And also the fact that like the character, cause the characterizations for like pretty much everybody were a bit too over the top. Mm. Um, with like Lucy being like super like awkward and, you know, clumsy and stuff. It's like, could have toned that down um but and then also yeah just like the, the the family anyway are just all like you know just like how they thought about all this stuff was doing i was like oh my god are you kidding me so but yeah i think that's what annoyed me if anything is that like i saw what could have worked but they just didn't focus on it they focused on all these misunderstandings so that i agree with that's my yeah. problem with it i know yeah, the misunderstandings, they could have toned down a little bit. Like, that could have been the beginning part, but then the middle and the end, they could have focused more on the relationship that she and had. Be, with. Yeah, and then she could have just told them and be like, yeah, I actually like this brother, uh, actually. Yeah. Um, I will say that I did not like the beginning, but as it went on, I started to like the movie a bit better, because, yeah, from the middle to the end, it was fine it was actually kind of funny after like the other brother woke up yeah he had some funny moments I... <laughs> yeah the, be the beginning I, I... the beginning like third or so was like definitely like the worst part of it yeah but yeah after you get past it it, it gets better i was telling the other two that i actually so in comparison to a lot of bollywood films and stuff because we went into this because when you think rom-com you think really cheesy and stuff and Bollywood is full of rom-coms and uh, yes Jeez. they're very very <laughs> very 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 cheesy Indian, like if you Indians think this like movie, cheese, it's, apparently <laughs> yeah it is there, there is so much cheese so much cheese so I was telling these two so I went into this movie Thinking, okay, it's it's probably I'm gonna probably compare it to a Bollywood film and stuff, which in the end I am, but in a better sense in the fact that I actually kind of enjoyed this more than I would have a Bollywood film and stuff. Of which a Bollywood film I would have not enjoyed <laughs> that much. So I actually without the misunderstanding parts and stuff, because they could have Probably, as Valen said, he already phrased that part, but 
the chemistry in it and then the premise of it I thought was really unique in the fact that it wasn't it didn't quite go as we expected either. Yeah. It was one of cuz for all the other movies that we've recently done we kind of expected them how to, we thought it would go but for this well he does we didn't even know she would end up with a different guy. So or who the different guy would be so Yeah. That's my input. <laughs> I, I think just for me, I I think it just for me, I just, like, you know, don't like this kind of movie. So, you know, that's part of it. And then just again, I feel like, the for me, the problems outweighed the things it did, right? And also I kind of have the feeling where, like, it's almost worse to have good ideas but use the bad ideas instead of the good ideas. Mm. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, in the end of the day, I don't like it. I don't, like, think it's terrible. Like, there's we've definitely seen significantly worse movies. Um, but I can't say I enjoyed it, so... I probably though. will not watch this movie again, but I, in, I came out of it enjoying it more than I thought I would. <laughs> so... If, yeah, that. like, I know my mom, she's watched this movie and she likes this movie, and I feel like... If she asked me to watch it again, I might not mind it now that I know what to expect from, mm-hmm. like, the characters. So, mm-hmm. I think, for me, the problems and things it did right, they kind of break even. Maybe, at least I laughed during the movie, so maybe um, good things might go a little bit up. But I, I know, like, the bad things, and they're not my favorite things. So it would just be, like, trying to get past those things in the first third of the movie. But mm-hmm. overall, it was mostly okay. Yeah, yeah I, it, I would say my rating is okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going with dislike, but not, like, really dislike. So, and again, I think that's mostly just because I just, in, in general, don't really like this kind of movie. Um, But, yeah, I, 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 I don't, like... I'm not like, you like this movie? How could you? You know, I'm not like that, right? So... I don't know. I mean, there's. I feel like there isn't too much else to say. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, don't, I, I. I still. The one complaint that I have is that there were no dogs, though. Oh there were only cats. There was cats. Yeah. And I think this is the first movie where there were, like, if there were animals, they weren't. There were no dogs at all. Yeah, actually. Other than there were only cats. Other than Lion King, but um. <laughs> They're all yeah. big cats. Well, yeah. And no, yeah. I know hyenas are not dogs. Okay, don't no, try to pull they're, that they're, out. They're not. Uh, they're no, not. They're close. We're closely related to uh, mongooses, I believe. Um, yeah, so, actually, which is really strange. Or is it if, mo- is is the plural of mongoose mongooses, or is it like mongoose? I don't think it's mongoose. I think it's mongoose. I think it is mongooses. Should be mongoose. Why would mongoose be a thing? <laughs> <laughs> because it's all geese. You said like, goose geese, so mongoose is mongoose. Duh. Mongoose. <laughs> Sounds like a country name. Mongoose. Mongoose. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fantasy writers out there that aren't us, take notes. <laughs> you got it from here. Oh my god. <laughs> well, uh, th- that's us talking about the movie. <laughs> like, but I, I don't know, like, I, this has been really short, but I feel like I have, like, nothing else to say. I don't know. Um, it was, it was... Okay I... to meh. Like, that's, you know, th- there you go. I give it yeah, a strong it's... okay. Yeah, strong okay. So, there. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, also, guess... happy birthday, Maya. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this came out during my birth month, so, um. At least you didn't hate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I. Yeah, I, I don't no, like I, it. I, I definitely got it the worst with my birth month, huh? <laughs> Yeah, um, that was an experience. It was. <laughs> Alan, you got it the best, though. Yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> Certainly. I, I might not have even, I might not have ever even started thinking about doing this if my first movie was bad. <laughs> <laughs> if you ended up with, um, what would obviously be bad, interview Dumb with and Dumber. Vampire. If he ended up oh, yeah. with Dumb and Dumber. No. Or wait, no, what was it? What did I say was... I looked in, like, what was May 1994. Wasn't it, like, the f- live-action Flintstones movie or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was... I, oh, God, I would have been so upset. Okay. Um, so... I, oh, one thing that we can say is that the next movie 
is pretty much the opposite of this movie. Yes. So yes. that'll be interesting. <laughs> um, and no, it's like, not gonna. It's not like the Dove and Dumber thing where I said, "Oh, this should be opposite." No, no, no. Like this pretty much has to be opposite of what this is. Yes. Which, personally, I'm grateful for. But you know, whatever. We'll we'll, I we'll, guess see. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So, uh, bye. Bye! bye. This episode of the mess. <laughs> <laughs> An editing mess. I know, yeah, okay. Sorry! At one point we talked about mongooses. <laughs> <laughs> mongooses. <laughs>